Moin Moin, and welcome to another of my World of Tanks videos. Um, this one is going to be uh, focused all on the Udis 03. Um, a tank that I played quite a lot recently, because I'm trying to get the do 5 times your HP uh, mission. Other good option are tier 6 uh, TDs, I got pretty close in the SC100. Um, but yeah, I'm playing the Udis quite uh, a lot recently, and I really enjoy it, because most people think about it just as a long-range sniper, uh, invisible somewhere uh, in cover you can't see it but it can do more and if you if you're able to utilize this more it becomes really more powerful and you can do crazy things surprise your enemies and uh, turn battles around uh, in a way that most people don't expect so this battle was a while ago i played with uh, in a tune with d-law and uh, coley but as i said battle will be mainly focused on the uh Udis 103, and we'll start off a bit slow, sorry about that, but we'll see some interesting gameplay later. Um, yep, so Coley is going down to the heavy corner, as one would expect. Uh, D-Law is uh, pushing down, trying to spot guys to shoot across, and I'm going the very, very boring uh, TD spot here at the start. I mean, it's a bit risky, because um, everybody's expecting you here. Uh, that was a bit stupid, I didn't pull completely behind cover. Uh, that's better. Um, so yeah, everybody's expecting to sit there, so they might blind fire you. Or um, the second you get spotted, you'll have people who are pre-aimed and start to shoot you. Um, yeah, that one unfortunately did not hit. Um, ouch. Um, that one, I actually have no idea where it went. I think there might be a rock somewhere that I actually hit. Um, this shot, yeah, just poor. Didn't give enough lead. Uh, misjudged the reload a bit, and then didn't correct for it. That would never hit a moving uh, EPR. Yeah, but start is pretty much standard sniping with mediocre success. Um, I'll accelerate a bit because now it's going to get uh, a bit. Uh, yeah, nothing is going to happen for a moment. Um, but yeah, you sit there and wait, especially at the start, because you don't want to get spotted. Don't want to lose the HP. Um, no, game changing moment. Uh, d is getting rushed by multiple tanks. Uh, I'm aiming to help him. And I know I have to make this one count because I'll have one shot and then I have to get into cover. Um, and yeah, well enough there, I'm spotted. Uh, I think I'm safe. I'm not because there is an E25 here. So I can't support d anymore. He's getting rushed by what is it? Four tanks. We're down 1 5 because all our tanks who went there uh, went down. At no, wait, what did that arty do there? Why would you sit in a position where they can spot you from down there? Well, never mind. So, really bad start. Um, and I'm getting the hell out because I don't want to get spotted up on the ridge line by all those tanks uh, pushing up uh, with all these snipers on the other side. So, use the mobility of the tank, get into a new position. Um, yep, and there is the first scout. Doesn't look like he's coming up. I'm trying to figure out what to do. My biggest concern is if they push up there and I'm there alone. It's not going to be pleasant, but since the Cromwell is there, I uh, decide to follow and just stop for a second to see if I find a shot at those guys, but well, now they suicided a bit. Uh, ooh, <laughs> risky play by the Cromwell. Um, yep, so relocate, don't sit there too long, see what's going to happen. Um, here, very carefully. Bring the Binox up really paid off. Nice one. Got rid of that heavy tank that I uh, didn't able to hit that open earlier. Um, yeah, 5-7. Look worse at the moment. So again, very cautiously moving to the ridge. Um, I should be out of spotting, uh, out of rendering distance from the guys on the other side. So I felt brave enough to take the risk. But now, oh, Crumble is down. And nice. Uh, scout in the medium down here. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of pulling back, but I figured maybe, maybe I should kill this, this Batchet. Ah, uh, sorry. Die of Batchet, true. And, <laughs> now, the thing we'll notice quite often, nobody sees this coming. They're all like, oh, let's do this. He, he will sit there and wait, and nobody expects that you come out of siege mode <laughs> around the corner, shoot them in the face, because hey, <laughs> it's like shotgunning with RTs. If you get close enough, chance to hit is very high. It's even better with the with the Udis, so shotgun mode on, and you get so many people by surprise. 
So I just can recommend to if it's if it's getting interesting or if there is lonely high priority targets, just get them from the side or when they're looking in that direction, they won't expect it. You have you have a high chance to completely surprise them. Um, yep, yeah, and then relocate fast. Uh, go on flanking positions. Don't sit there in the back. If you're wondering why I'm not getting shot, uh, unfortunately those guys are busy to uh, kill Coley who. He gave a glorious stand up there, uh, but he was alone against multiple enemies, at least three, so he went down. Um, and I took a bit too long to clean up here to help him. So yeah, battle is still not looking particularly well, but definitely not lost. So um, I'm moving to the next position, and this one, this one is something for all of you who haven't seen it before. This one is glorious, so I'll go into my view first and explain what's happening. So you see me, I. Fire over the ridge and then pull back again. And for the next shot, we'll look at it in detail. So, what you do is you go to ridge line, you go out of siege mode, and then you go into siege mode and point your gun to the ground. And by that, you can lift up the back of your tank, fire just over the ridge, give them very little of a shot. And if you go out of siege mode again, the seat at the moment, you can just see how fast the, the back of the tank drops down again. So, you can see a careful look again for the shot, want to make it count. And there's almost nothing, no, no target for the enemy. So I go up, fire, kill, down. You see, now they have no chance to hit me. This is just, this can be so helpful in so many situations. Because in this tank you can't risk to get hit. Because if you get hit, everybody will pen you. If they have HE, they will pen you. Uh, you don't have many HP yourself. If they you get shot by anything, it's painful. If you get hit by uh, HE, it's really, really painful. Now, I actually might have gotten unspotted here, so camo is really useful, of course. Um, yep, just pulling a bit more into cover. And boom, goodbye. So that's more standard gameplay. Uh, and again, I didn't get spotted, or I was spotted the entire time, but then the Carnarvon just didn't pay any attention at all. And now same again. Uh, what's nice, the EBR just hit the E25, so he's a certain one-shot for me. And now, yeah, I'm going in. He hasn't seen me moving up, and just look at him. I come over the ridge line, and he's like, "Who?" Hey? Dunks the first shot, panics. I get in, get close enough that I can't miss. Uh, somehow bounce him, low caliber. <laughs> Actually, AP might have been better to pen me. <laughs> That's what you get for gold. I mean, yeah, waffle and uh, <laughs> and Yudis. That's why I need gold shells for. Yeah, but even that. I mean, that guy's a good player. He is. He's four kills. He is. Uh, Deep in the uh, deep in the green, but didn't see it coming. And you'll see that with a lot of people, so it's something you can use. And then again, just switch from um, getting close to sniping. And I'm pretty certain that that guy now pulls back into cover, so I don't even waste time sitting here waiting for another shot. Use the mobility, find another angle. Um, and I'm pretty. Uh, even without Binox active, I'm pretty certain that I can outspot him. I mean, I give it a try here. Just get the Binox up. See, there he's not there. Get out of siege mode again. Um, and try to find him. Not just sit somewhere in the back. Keep moving. Use the mobility, especially in situations like this. There is no fast tanks. There is nothing that could surprise me, really. Uh, maybe, except the shotgun arc is somewhere around the next corner. Um, yeah, so I mean, I could rush and faster now but why would I I mean he's I know where he is he's in a position where he can't get out anytime soon so what do we do we flank around uh, get another angle um, and finish him off and doesn't even have the chance to see me um, not with a blind Russian heavy tank um, yeah fortunately the the RT took out uh, the waffle but hey, now it's one on one against the RT, and unless I'm getting shotgunned really stupidly, I should be able to do this. So, and what do you think? Where he's sitting? Uh, place your bets. Um, Coley and D-Law had a pretty good idea. Um, I figured out that, well, I have all the time in the world. Um, so I took kind of the safe route. Um, for the case that the T-150 pointed him where was, he's probably not expecting this approach. And, yep, yeah, I go around here. I mean, I was a bit concerned he's sitting here waiting for a shotgun, but it's lucky to get away. Um, he's not up there, so I want to get up that plateau. Um, and Dilo and Coley are completely certain he's at A0. And where is he? There. Now, how did he get there? 
no idea, really. Um, <laughs> I, best theory is, well, I was driving up there, that ramp, and around there. He must have been sitting somewhere here, just behind cover to not get spotted. And that moved into here, or maybe driving through here, and that moved into that position to ambush exactly the route that I did. That's a, that's a smart move, actually. Unfortunately for him, I moved through there already, so that's just um, <laughs> a bit unfair. And, uh, yep, goodbye, Mr. Artie. Uh, good play by him, though. I really like Artie to give a fight. Um, I even had battles where I thought I'm going to, to lose, uh, but I had two Arties, uh, one or two versus two. I glory is because uh, I'm really happy when I have a really good battle, but then uh, go down, I think it's over, and then some arties carry it to the end. So I never understand people who uh, suicide there. Prepare a good ambush. You might get some damage off, you might get some more credits. White drown, suicide, shot a wall. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you could get something, uh, could learn something from the video or got some inspiration. I mean, a lot of you will have known it, but uh, yeah. Don't play the tank just as a sniper, it's a waste of potential. Uh, it can turn around a lot more battles uh, if you uh, know when to play it aggressively. And as I said, you'll recognize, uh, you'll completely surprise a lot of people, even good players, because they totally don't see it coming. Uh, yep, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you around.